Welcome once again to Iron Crane Dojo. Bill McCabe here, and we're uh, winding down right now. Uh, once again, with basketballs bouncing in the background, but we'll just sort of suffer through it so we can at least get something productive done. Okay, what I want to do today is this. Uh, I want to talk about trapping energy. Uh, and we're, we're, we're talking about various energies and how to recognize them and how to exploit them. And trapping energy sort of works like this. Uh, we're in the middle uh, of a situation, and we're just going to do it in such a way that we can practice it. This will help you be able to set it up. I uh, extend forward, and Terry is about to trap me and push me back, and I capture her hand. As I capture her hand, you see how I'm relaxing backward and just drawing the energy out of her body? And I go back. We're going to go through this a few times so you can see it. See, I set her up, now watch. I get her almost leaning backward. She tries to recover, returns the force to me. I capture and I draw it in. And then what she's waiting for is for me to return it to her because she's about to pull me back. And she wants to do this move. She wants to cuddle me and, and capture me and fire. She wants to cut. And you see how I'm cutting here, I'm doing the same thing. I cut just as she fires, and I've got, I've got her energy under control. And I just demonstrate that law of balancing uh, maneuver so you would see that. But the topic here is this. I'm setting her up. She pushes on me, and as she comes in, I absorb her energy. And she's waiting for my energy to come. And just as she's about to cut here, just as she's about to cut, I'm not going to let her cut. I'm not going to let her dissipate my energy. I'm going to use that as a trap. So I'm here, <coughs> I cut, I draw back, and there's the trap. Now right here, I own her balance. Watch. OK? She's completely off balance, but she doesn't feel the off balancing because I basically stolen her balance and I've locked her arms and, and her center line in such a way that it cannot adjust to my force. So you have the classic internal arts example of where two ounces can move a thousand pounds. Now Terry doesn't weigh quite a thousand pounds. She's about 997 last time I checked, I think. 99, okay. Well, I'll take Terry on her word. but. Uh, it doesn't matter how much she weighs. When the person's locked up like that, they're stuck. And I'll, get, I'll, I'll do it a few times with Terry so you can see the mechanics of the move. And then I'll let her do it on me. Okay, so we're in the, and, and again, we're just going to do the setup for you. This, this would actually be in the midst of a flow. For example, we, we might be doing a full improvised flow situation. In the middle of that, I might fire. But that's a little bit further down the road than all of you are prepared for today. Besides, very few people ever talk about this particular technique in any kind of detail. So even those of you who have good awareness of these concepts will benefit from this. So we're in. Draw back. Just as she's about to capture. I lock. This technique is called on. Two hands generally pushing down. It's one of the classic Peng Liu Jian, Jian Kao in uh, Chinese martial arts. And on, in this case, I'm going to go down and up. And that ascends her from her balance. But I could also use the same technique in a different capacity. You know, on, straight down, like a harpoon through the bottom. That basically bends her over and drives her to the ground. There are many different ways you can do it. But the trick here is the timing. She lands, here's the timing. 
I draw back. I'm just waiting for her hand to appear. As soon as I see it, I capture. There's the capture. Okay? And the force comes from my center. As you saw just then, I tried to manifest it so you can see it coming out. It's a big force. Okay, turn around, fair play. <laughs> I think. I actually weigh quite a bit more than Terry does. You know, I, I weigh uh, well over 200 pounds. So she's here. She lands. She cuts. She draws in, and I'm waiting. She traps. You can see the power that she has. And, and Terry, she hasn't done this for as long as I've done it. Uh, but she was introduced to it only recently. But you can see she, she has a, a good understanding of internal motion and internal energy flow. So she's able to execute with authority. Steve, I'm going to ask that you bring the camera down to a lower eye view here so you can see what happens to my legs. And as I'm moving on her, she cuts, goes back, I'm about to cut, and she fires. Whose phone is that? OK. Scott, 10,000 push-ups. Stick that phone in a bucket of water when he's done talking. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. Make sure when you're in a class that you always turn your phone off because it really ticks the instructor off. <clears throat> okay. So we're here. She cuts. I cut. She cuts. I cut. She cuts. I cut. And she cuts and I fire. Uh, how much time will we use? Seven. Okay, let's talk about something else here, real quick. This is an off bouncing move that sets up almost exactly out of the same position. So we'll, we'll double you up today and we'll give you a second concept to experiment with. I call this the rod. It's like the magical rod that moves, that splits the uh, Red Sea, splits energy out. So we're here, and what I do is I go in on Terry, I force myself in, and she wants to push me back to get some room. She comes back, I take her forward, split her out, and shoot her to the side. This is an unusual technique, and it takes a lot of practice to get. The technique has five to six underlying concepts that have to be triggered for it to work properly. And I'm going to lay those out for you right now. Then, uh, with your friends uh, at school, under the uh, supervision of your instructor, you can experiment with these uh, if you wish. So I'm here. I go into Terry. She lands and she's going to move back on me and she comes forward. Uh, she does that, bring the camera over to the other side. We're going to talk about a few of the points that have to be addressed. My right leg goes in so that I am taking control of her center line. She doesn't feel that yet. My right arm is just about at her tricep level. And my left arm is, is resting, my left hand is resting comfortably on her wrist. And what I do is, as my weight goes forward, I split her energy. I see her body turning. All of her weight is going over the edge of her right foot. Can you see that? Now, Francisco, lift up her left foot. There's not anything under her left foot anymore. Do you feel that? It's all gone. And right here is where she's off balance. Now watch. If I just push with this hand, she'll, she'll go off balance into space in that direction. But I don't push. I turn my body. But I use both hands to push. You would not think this would have any impact, but it actually adds about 40% to the move when I fire. But she cannot retain her balance. In fact, if I really do it hard, she'll go flying. Now again, these might not work the same way for you initially. I've got a lifetime of doing this kind of stuff underneath my belt. So I have a certain degree of acquired efficiency in these concepts. I only want to share them before I check out because no one else is really making these things uh, uh, communicable in a way that you can see them and understand them. So I, I want to share those to, uh, as my legacy to my friends, which is you guys. So she's here. 
Poker, my friends. <laughs> Did I get you any eye? Oh, no. <laughs> so I go in and I project in her, and she has to come back in on me to get her balance back. And there you have it. See the splitting move? That split just breaks, destroys her balance, and then I fire. Now I want to do the same technique. She's in the same position, right foot forward. Now I'm just going to do it with my right hand pushing. You see, different. If I do my left hand pushing, nothing. But the left and the right. So by way of quick summary and review, I set it up. I slightly off balance her, get her to commit forward and into me. I capture her, I sneak my right foot forward, I split her out, and I fire both hands. And once again, you probably ask, well, can she do it to him? I don't know, let's give her, give her a shot. Here's your chance for fame. <laughs> Try not to hurt me. Yes, sir. I'm old. Push, she sneaks in. Whoa, she got me. So with that, you had an extra long lesson today, a few things to work on, lots of esoteric concepts. Boy, put that in your, in your menu and enjoy that. That'll give you a lot to have fun with. Stay well.